Mikel, uh, a good victory to start the season. It looked like the team picked up from where they finished the, the last one. Is that how you saw it? Yeah, well, especially the beginning of the match and the first half where I think um, that we were really good, really aggressive, really intense, a lot of purpose to attack, uh, very fast, uh, a lot of threat in the box. We generate a lot, probably we should have scored two or three and the game would have been different. In the second half, moments we became a bit sloppy and no control, especially some giveaways inside that against this team is particularly difficult. And, uh, and then the game was a bit more open. And then, yeah, Bukayo had an, an unbelievable action again to score the tunnel and, and it was a, a different game. Sam from Sky. Uh, Mikhail, this team was so good last season. Um, have you seen enough to convince you that this team can do that one extra step this, this season or for this pre season in this game? What I see is the willingness. Whether we're going to do it or not, we're going to have to show it every day uh, how we play and the results that we are able to to take away. We started well, it's the first game. It's always uncertainty how we're going to respond to that against a really difficult opponent. Score two, clean sheet, win. Job done. Kai for Blondin. Was there a Hi. proper set of forwards goal from Kai? Yeah. There's all that talk about you know, Arsenal need to bring in a forward, but when you've got the players doing stuff like that, it was great the action, the whole action, it's, it's great, the, the position, the delivery, the position we have in the box, the way he attacks the ball, it's superb, great goal. And also, was Declan okay at the end, he was cramping Yeah, he was cramping, he was cramping a bit, obviously, he hasn't had the, the longest precision ever, uh, but he's really trying and, and he put an unbelievable performance again today and, and at the end he was a bit struggling. James, CBS? And we spoke yesterday about the levels that you need to go up, how close on the back of this game, do you feel you kind of are to the level you could reach? Hopefully very far. Uh, it's the first game, so hopefully we can become a better team and, and evolve each single week, and uh, that's the aim that we have. Jordan, Stone. Um, we often talk about winning a title, needing ugly wins, wins that aren't perfect. Is, is that nice to see that even at the very start of the season, the team can dig in and even when things aren't going well? Yeah, we need in any context. You're going to have better days, worse days. The opposition is going to allow you to or guide you to play in a different kind of way. And today we won, I think, in a convincing way, uh, but probably in a different way because it's what the game requires. And just on Saka, he's uh, both goals he's cutting onto his left foot. Mm. Are you often surprised that teams still let him do that, seeing just how, how good he can be? <laughs> About good players, you know, with Messi, I know that he's going to come here and put the ball there, but he does it all the time. <laughs> That's the quality of the players. James, you again? Just one on sort of deck, Bakayo and David Ryan as well. I mean, three guys who played in the Euros final a month ago, and yet they come back here. Not only are they playing, but they produce that level of performance. I mean, how impressed with those three, as you said, not having a proper pre season? to come and do that. But I'm not surprised, uh, but that's their mentality. Straight after the last game, they said, I'm going to be ready for the first game. Uh, I spoke to them in the summer to try to arrange their best plan. They wanted to be early. They wanted to be back. They were already getting prepared, but they were on holidays. This is the mentality that we know if, that we need. If, if players are doing that, that compromise, it will grow around the team and, and they will step up the level. And that's what we need. When you talked to them, did you sort of initially think, I might have to leave them out for the first game because they might need time? Well, first of all, yeah, you have to really understand where they are, you know, what they need, give them some space, let them breathe. They went through a lot and those, those kids have played a lot of football in the last two years. But uh, when you see that willingness, that energy to say, I'm really, really happy to be back, when they come back on the, and you see that that is genuine, it's, it's a good sign. Thank you, Mikhail, uh, this time last year, Kai was in a very different place, obviously, finding his feet in the team and had a slower start to the season. Who is that, sorry? Kai Havertz. Kai. Uh, just, like, how different do you, do you see him now compared to a year ago? How much more comfortable is he in the surrounding? Yeah, every player needs some time to, to adapt and, and get to know, you know, everybody, the club, the, the relationship, the system. But obviously, I think he's gained the confidence and respect of everybody, the way he handles certain situations and, and look at the way he's performing. Yes, I'm Mayo. Kai Saka forwards today. What are your thoughts on uh, Thomas Partey's performance? There was a few instances in the match where he possibly gave the ball away in certain areas. What was your? Yeah, well, I think we 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 had certain problems, especially in the second half with. We said some giveaways. It's part of the game as well, you know, and things that we can do better to be more consistent, to have more security, more purpose, and dominate the game better. We'll get better. David Ryan said in the first half, 
unbelievable. <laughs> well, I think it's the first time that they had any attempt. Uh, we don't defend the, bo the, the box well. And then David comes in and, and puts an unbelievable save. Yeah. Okay, we have the last couple now. Nick from Haters at the back there. Yeah, just a, a bit more on the defence. You decided to start with uh, Alexander Zinchenko over at the Tinder and cover four on the bench, but it's a, it was a strong clean sheet, 18 last season. Kicked off with another one. Yeah. Why you made those decisions and well, we will go game by game as well. Julian has been struggling um, the last few weeks. As you know, he hasn't played any minutes in the last two or three weeks. Um, and Ricardo, it just landed, you know, and he's getting used to a lot of things. They are progressing both of them really good. And we have a lot of uh, competition there, which is great for the team because you can see that Alex Pesce in the first half was really good. In the second half, we needed certain else and we had the ability to change the game. Yeah? And finally, okay. I'm having a um, in pre-season, you talked about the need to get 114 points in order to topple Manchester City. And thinking about that, it's such a big number, almost everything has to go perfectly. Um, what do you need from both the fans in the stadium and the fans at home in order to get to that um, 114? Well, first of all, I was, we were in LA. They asked me, what do you need to win the Premier League for sure? <laughs> so 114 points, you win it. That doesn't mean that... That we have to do that, you know, it's, it's talking about that on the first game, it doesn't make sense, you know. This is a new story, this is on a beautiful one, hopefully, that we have to write from the beginning. Today was the first chapter of that. Let's write some beautiful ones and, uh, and let's be prepared for the ones that are not so beautiful to respond to that in the best possible way. Okay, bro, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.